What if you had hundreds of thousands of people putting money into your pocket every day? What if you could do that with very little effort and time? For many, many years, I thought dividend stock investing was the worst investment out there. In this video, I show you why I changed my mind and why a piece of every dollar that I make goes towards buying dividend stocks. I know the people watching this channel are very smart. If you have any financial intelligence, you know that the more people you have in your life that are making you money, the greater the potential is for you to become extremely wealthy. I love trading options. It's not just my main business, it's also what I really enjoy doing every day. However, I'm here to tell you that it's not the easiest money that I make. The easiest money that I make is the money that other people make for me. One of the best parts about being a dividend stock investor is that these employees that work for the dividend companies I own, they pay me every year no matter what's going on in the economy. On this channel, I do my absolute best to teach you how to use options to put big cash into your pocket every single month. But it's time to broaden your horizons. It's time to show you honestly my second favorite way of getting paid. You see, I love doing work one time and then getting paid forever for it. When you trade in the stock market, there are three ways that you can get paid. There's option trading, there's capital gains from increases and decreases in stocks, and then there's dividends. Of the three, dividends in my opinion are actually the easiest and therefore possibly the best. Notice I didn't say that you make the most money, but I said that it's possibly the easiest and best. The reason is because it just doesn't matter if the stock market is going up, going down, or just going sideways. If you pick dividend paying companies that are solid, mature, and consistently profitable, you should get those dividends every single month. Dividend paying stocks provide a way for us investors to get paid during rocky markets when capital gains can be hard to achieve. Dividends can also be tax advantaged, unlike other forms of income, such as interest on fixed income assets. On top of that, dividend paying stocks tend to be less volatile than non-dividend paying stocks. If you reinvest your dividends, you can take advantage of one of the financial wonders of the world, compound interest. Compounding interest can build tremendous wealth over time. The dependability of dividends is a big reason why I now set aside a piece of my monthly option trading cash flow and hire more dividend paying companies employees by buying more stock in my favorite beaten down businesses. Steady, dependable dividend companies can add stability and consistent cash flow to your portfolio. A company or group of companies that increase their dividends over time, they also provide a hedge against inflation. Inflation is a silent thief. It pulls money out of your bank account every second of every day. Owning solid dividend paying companies that increase their dividends every year is a way to not only combat inflation, but also to absolutely beat it. When a company has a track record of paying consistently increasing dividends, you can have a lot of confidence knowing that it will most likely continue to increase those dividends in the future. Most investors will look at two stocks and pick the one that they believe has the most upside over time. This puts all the focus on the potential reward into the future. They may have to wait months or even years for a reward that may never even show up. That's not the case with dividend stocks. Some dividend paying companies, they begin to pay the owner within 30 days and they'll do that forever. Others pay you quarterly, several semi-annually, and some annually. But here's the thing about dividends. If you don't know much about them, you may only pick the companies that have a really high starting dividend, and that could be a mistake. Yes, there are some companies that pay a high starting dividend that will increase their dividend over the years. But there are others that pay high dividends because there's extreme risk in the company or because they don't plan to increase the dividend very much in the future. It's important to pick a portfolio of companies that cover the whole spectrum of dividend investing. I like to have some that pay higher dividends, but maybe they don't increase their dividends as much each year as others will. But I also like to have some that pay a lower starting dividend, but have a history of increasing those dividends aggressively. If you only have a few years until retirement, you most likely want to focus more of your assets on companies that have a little bit higher dividends with a history of increasing them, as well as trading in some options. However, if you have time, buying dividend paying companies that have a lower initial dividend, but a history of increasing those dividends aggressively because of profit growth, that can be a recipe for tremendous dividend growth over time. Let me show you the power of setting aside even just a little bit of money every month to invest in dividend stocks. Last year, I made the decision to take at least 10% of the cash flow that I generate from selling options and buy dividend paying stocks with that money every single month. Three months ago, I began to share with my patrons our annual dividend cash flow after each month's purchases. Let me share with you what it has been over the past three months. But first, let me give you a little bit of background information here. In this account, where we take 10% of our cash flow from selling options and use that to buy dividend paying stocks outright, we now own just over $30,000 worth of stocks. So it's not a big portfolio, but it's a decent sized one and we're adding to it every month. We currently own 65 stocks in this portfolio. Over the past several months, our monthly purchases have ranged from $1,000 to almost $4,000. 
Now that the market is down, I'm increasing how much we're buying in this outright stock ownership account. I'm taking advantage of what I perceive as an opportunity and plan to do this for the foreseeable future as long as the market stays down. But what's interesting is what's happened to our dividend income over the past several months. Here you see that as of April 16th, about a month and a half ago, our annual dividend income was $978. On May 21st, you see that the annual income was up to $1,158. Fast forward a couple weeks to today, and the annual dividend income is up to $1,243. Now most of the increases came from new purchases and a little bit came from dividend increases. Here you see the 10 stocks that I bought four days ago in this outright stock ownership account. Let me give you information on a couple of these companies that we just bought that I think you're gonna find interesting. One of the stocks that we bought is one that I'm sure most or all of you are familiar with. It's Starbucks. Notice in the blue box that on average, it's grown its dividend by 8.9% per year. In the orange box, it's that one of the reasons why we picked to buy this stock now is because the dividend is about at the highest level that it's been at over the past five years. What if you could get an 8.9% raise for the rest of your life? Do you think that that would add up? Now look at how many employees we now have working for us because we bought a piece of this company. Notice in the blue box that worldwide, we now have 383,000 employees making us money every day. In the orange box, he said we just bought into 34,000 stores worldwide. And all that at a price that I'm very happy to own a piece of this company at. The next one you may not have heard of, but it's a financial exchange and data company called Intercontinental Exchange. When we bought a piece of this company, notice in the blue box that we now have over 8,800 employees working to make us money 24 hours of every day. Their starting dividend is not very impressive right now. As you see in the orange box, it's just 1.51%. But again, we're buying the stock and its dividend is at the highest level that it's been at over the past five years. But notice their dividend growth. They just started paying a dividend less than 10 years ago, but they've been increasing that dividend on average by 15% a year. What if you got a 15% raise every year, but you didn't have to do any additional work? Here's one more company that we bought. It's one of my favorite real estate investment companies, Medical Properties Trust. It owns hospitals. Notice in the blue box that its dividend growth rate over the past years hasn't been nearly as high as the others. It's been 3.6%. But notice in the orange box that the starting annual dividend yield is 6.69%. Well, what do we get when we bought a piece of this hospital real estate company? Notice in the blue box that we bought ownership in 440 hospitals. Those hospitals have 46,000 beds to help people that are sick. Yes, the company we bought provides help to people that as you can see in the red box in 10 different countries. In all, in the purple box, you see that we have 53 tenants or 53 corporations whose employees are also working hard to make those rent payments to us every second of every day. By the way, if you want to be a more profitable stock and option trader, please do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button and bell notification. If you're finding benefit in this video, please hit the like button. We like to buy a mix of higher and lower paying dividend companies, but they all must have the potential and history of increasing those dividends. You see, I like doing work one time to come up with the money to buy these stocks outright, and then I like to get paid forever and get a pay raise forever. We do make a higher return with our option trading, but remember, this is money that we take out of the option trading profit to buy an investment that we never have to worry about ever again that will pay us for the rest of our life. What might this look like if you did this for 10 years, 20 years, or even 50 years? Here's an example of the dividend growth in the popular real estate company, Realty Income. This is a company that we own and it pays a monthly dividend. Looking back to October of 1994, so that Realty Income was paying a dividend of seven and a half cents per share. Now let's fast forward 10 years to January of 2004. Realty Income had increased its dividend to 10 cents per share or 33%. Fast forward another 10 years to January of 2014, we see they increase the dividend to 18.2 cents per share. That's an increase of 82% in just 10 years. Now fast forward to today, eight years later, it's paying a dividend of 24.7 cents per share. That's almost a 36% increase in a little over eight years. If you owned 1,000 shares of realty income, your monthly check would have gone from $182 per month in 2014 to $247 a month now. And remember, you didn't have to do any work to get that pay raise. Dividends can be a powerful investing tool. Let me show it to you another way. Let's look at the difference between the return of the S&P 500 when dividends were not reinvested and when they were reinvested from the time period between 1971 and 2020. So we're looking at a span of 40 years. Let's assume that you invested $1,000 in the S&P 500 in 1971. If you pocketed those dividends and didn't reinvest them, you'd have $39,000. That's pretty nice growth. However, 
It's pathetic growth when compared to how much you would have if you had reinvested those dividends over that same 50 year time period. If you had reinvested those dividends, you would have $131,100. That's over 70% of the total return just because the dividends were reinvested. If you don't own any dividend paying stocks, why not set aside a piece of your monthly cash flow to buy some outright? Make sure you pick solid, mature, proven companies and then watch those dividends grow and watch them put more and more money into your pocket every single year. If you'd like to get alerts when we do trades like the ones I showed in this video, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see how we've been able to accumulate over $18,000 worth of dividend paying stocks all for free, check out the video at the link above in the description below entitled Free Stock Using Options. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.